Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Ease Memories of Celsetta. Last time we finished up all the various side quests in the game, but there's two there's still two spots that we need to go to. This one right here and then this spot over there. So let's do this southern spot first. I went ahead and made it here off screen and you just need to use your Beast King's Claws in order to uh, bust down that barrier there. Let's see what we can't find. Oh, okay. That's just a mineral. It's nothing special. Don't worry about it. Probably never going to use it because it's completely useless. Oh, here we have a locked treasure chest. Let's go ahead and throw Durin in the party. Why not? Ooh. Okay. More crap that I'll probably never use, but it's there. Well, let's see what we got here. That's some decent stuff. Okay. And, oh, a golden treasure chest. Sweet. And might as well go ahead and pick these mushrooms, too. Do we just get coal from mushrooms? That's odd, to say the least. Anyway, we get another sunstone. Sweet. And let's go ahead and see what's over at this harvest point as well. Okay, just more junk. Anyway, uh, now, okay, make sure your map says 99%, and then we need to go over to Celery to use our Sunstone, if I can find where it is on the map. Yeah, there it is. I'm just going to meet you at the Blacksmiths. Here I am. And let's go ahead and talk to her and hand over our next Sunstone for some more Ultimate Equipment. Um, it's either Ozma or Kalilika, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to Kalilika. Okay. Oh. Well, I got the weapon for Kalilika, so I might as well get the armor for her as well. I mean, she needs the armor. Her HP is severely lacking. Great. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and equip that stuff on her. Uh, Gaia Mace. Whoa, plus 63 strength. That's pretty damn good. And yeah, this Victoria's Blessing. Awesome as well. But while I'm here, uh, one thing that I did do off screen was reinforce um, some weapons for Adol, like the Ajax Sword. Um, but I do want to go ahead and reinforce the Gaia Mace as well. So let's see, let's go ahead, uh, attack one for, I'll take the Frozen. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we can go ahead and reinforce her armor as well. That's defense poison. Oh, this is better. Gives her frozen protection too. Okay, so now I wanna meet you. Oh, you know what? There's something else that we can do here. Um, because we are gonna be fighting a super boss, like for real, for real, super, super, super boss. And you may wanna buy a ton of bitter potions like you could max out on these bitter potions and we have so much money right now anyway you might as well um so yeah and you also might want to buy some rota droplets too i'll just buy enough um yeah i don't want to waste all my money not that it really matters but now uh let's see i want to go here to this blank spot on the map so i'm just going to meet you there i've made my way here um, I've also purchased some new accessories, the skill tree 4, that will have my SP uh, consumption, which is really nice, and then using those skills will make my extra gauge rise faster. Life ring 4, power ring 4, power ring 4, and blue tree earring for extra SP. Why not? Anyway, with all that being done, let's head on in here. Okay, so the super boss is over towards the uh, left, but we don't want to go there quite yet. Let's go ahead and gather everything else that we can around here. Die! Die! Yeah, we can just we can literally just slide into them and kill them at this point. We don't even have to like attack them. It's ridiculous how easy these uh, enemies are now. Bam! <laughs> Look at this! Boom! It's amazing! Okay, make sure your SP is all the way filled. Ah, yikes! And make sure everything else is filled too. And now I want to use some items. Okay, let's go ahead and use a power tablet on Adol. And I only just want to use it on Adol because I only have three of them. And I want his, um, 
attack power to be as high as humanly possible for this fight because this guy is ridiculous and he loves to push you back. But go ahead and use Stun Read on him over and over and over again. Like that's all you want to be doing here is Stun Raiding him constantly. Ugh, whatever. He does that electricity attack, it hurts. Like it really freaking hurts and it pushes you back and then he deals even more damage afterwards. So it just sucks. Okay. Okay, at this point... Oh, Master Cartographer. Hey, looks like I get that 100%. Um, yeah, but another thing... Whoo! Good thing I got 99 Bitter Potions, because I'm going to need them. Yeah, whenever Adol gets low, your other party members are probably getting kind of low too. So do make sure that you are um, healing all of them up. And continually use that stun raid over and over and over again. Oh look! My extra gauge got powered up again because of the accessories that I have. Yeah, so I can be using my limit break on this guy constantly. Once that's done, you should have some more SP so that you can continue your stun raid. Oh man, yikes! Okay, looks like I don't have any SP or extra gauge, so we might as well get some hits in. Yeah, there's that treasure chest. And honestly, if you can't fight this guy, like if you can't beat him, you don't have to fight him. Um, you can get that chest without fighting him. Uh-oh, I'm at 1,000 HP. Let's go ahead and heal up everybody. Yeah, this fight is pretty long because he is ridiculously powerful. And he just loves knocking you back all the time. And he also has 35,000 HP. Whoa. Yeah. Like landed right on top. What a bitch. Let me up. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> like I can't even do anything. Like that's kind of ridiculous. Are you done yet? Can I do something? Okay. Oh. Come on, yeah, he starts getting into like pissy boss mode at this point where it's very difficult to even approach him at all. Oh, so you just kind of have to get into whatever attacks you can. If you're using Karna, it might be a little bit easier. Um, oh, shit, I'm paralyzed. Because Karna can attack from a distance, so it doesn't really matter if she's being knocked back. Uh, he's paralyzed. Let's go ahead and cure that as well. Don't want to have to deal with that. Oh man, this guy's like almost dead. Why is it that my party members never attack unless I attack? What is up with that? Come on. Also, if this is your first time defeating him, you will get the Lord of the Jungle achievement. But I beat him off screen just for strategy purposes. And I already got the, um, the Lord of the Jungle skill. Anyway, here we get Hero's Ring. This thing better be worth it. Let's see what this thing does. The Hero's Ring. Where is this? Oh. Oh. Oh, to something stronger. Really? Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, change that one as well. So let's see. The Hero's Ring. Change the extra skill. And what do I want to do on... Yeah, let's get rid of this Life Ring. And we will give her those earrings that I just had. Where are they? Uh, is it this one? I think it was... What are those? Was it this one? I guess it was this one. Okay, whatever. Um, and now what I want to do is head over uh, back to Kaznan, to Griselda. Hey there, lady. Yeah, we've got it all the way done. Oh, well, thanks. Wow, a lot of compliments here. <laughs> no, I want more praise! And a princess at that rate, too. Oh, um, yeah, you're probably right. Ooh, and what does this thing do? Oh, oh, that's nice! So now I got the Hero wing, Ring, which will upgrade the Soul Breaker to something else, and my extra gauge will rise even faster! Yeah. Ooh! One, wow, tons of frickin' gold there. Not that I really need the gold, but whatever. Oh, well, thanks. Well, that's a pretty good question. Develop? Why would you develop the Great Forest? The, the forest is a wilderness. Leave it wild. That's horrible. 
Ah. Oh. But it is detrimental to the country and its people if you develop the forest. You're going to be killing all the animals and everything in there. That's horrible. Ah. Uh. Well, your conviction should be to leave Salsetta and go back to Roman. Okay. Well, now I definitely do not need the uh, urn anymore, so let's go ahead and equip that RS seal. And now I want to go to Highland to unleash um, that seal. So I'm just going to meet you there. If I can, that's cell right. Where's Highland? There it is. So I'll just meet. You. I'll just meet you there. Here we are. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, it's just gonna be even faster? Okay. Hey, what's wrong with that? So, yeah. So it went from fast to even faster. Next up, we need to go and talk to El Deal because we got everything done that we can possibly get done. Uh, so it is time to go into the final dungeon, Iris. I'm in the room with uh, El Deal. So let's just head on over towards Iris. Oh, we don't have anything to say to him? He's just standing there holding the door open for a year and a day when I'm going to say goodbye or anything? Even to your little stupid love interest that I can't stand? That's actually, actually kind of nice, a good change of pace. I don't really feel like talking to Lisa anyway. Oh, this place looks complicated. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> what is your issue, Kalilika? Why do you hate him so much? Man, this girl has problems. Guess, unless it was written in the record for El Deal to grant those people knowledge. Oh. Oh! That kind of makes sense. This really is reminding me a lot of Tales of the Abyss. Man. Well, that's why he's a god. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, of course it's on the highest level, the furthest away from where we are. Yeah, to see these doorways. Great. Oh, of course he can. What about the owner of the Mask of the Moon? Can we warp directly? No. We have to kill three guardians. So there's three doors. And behind each door, there lies a guardian. Eh, sounds about right. Bronze, silver, and gold. What is this? Third chapter? Huh. So defeat the guardians, and then the way will be open. Oh, well that's kind of nice actually. But of course we have as much time as we could possibly need. Okay, so let's do this. We're not going to be exploring this whole place today. This place is ridiculous. But you do want to go ahead and get that warp um, recorded. But what I want to do first and foremost is get the sunstone that's hidden in here so that Ozma can have his ultimate weapon. So just head inside the rightmost door. And first things first, save whenever you're in here. The reason why I say to save is because this place is crazy and you can easily mess this up, and you do not want to do that. This place has one of the most ridiculous puzzles I have ever come across, I've got to say. It is just the worst. So first of all, just go in here, grab your purple stones, ignore these little assholes, and move on with life. Now, let's get this puzzle started. 
We're not going to be finishing this place today. All we're going to do is get the Sunstone. Oh my god. Yeah. Basically, I'm going to walk you through this because it is just beyond. Okay, so here's what we got going on here. We have an outer ring, a middle ring, and an inner ring. Okay, everybody with me? Three rings. And then we have to rotate said rings in a very particular order to get various treasure chests as well as, um, you know, continue through this area. Like, it is just insane. Anyway, you want the middle disc, and now use your um, analog stick, your R button, and just move it up one. Then go to your inner disc, which is this one, and move it down one. Okay, that's all you want to do. Now let's go ahead and follow this path and see where it leads us. Can we go this way? Up there? No, we can't. There is the tiniest, teeniest gap you've ever seen, and it's just not going to let you get it. So that kind of sucks, but eh, whatever. And down here, what do we have? The Sunstone! Woohoo! Let's get out of here and go get Ozma's ultimate weapon. I'm um, back in Celery Village. Let's hand it over. Well, of course, Ozma. And Ozma is a man. There you go. Yeah, we do have three guardians to fight, so I wanted to get everybody um, with their ultimate weapons and ultimate equipment before dealing with any sort of guardians or anything else like that. That's why I went to the gold door first in order to grab that um, sunstone there. Okay, let's equip that stuff. Let's see. Ooh, that's nice, yeah. Ooh, very, very good. And we might as well go ahead and reinforce it as well. Let's see, the Jupiter Spear. What is this going to do? Attack and Frozen. This is just Frozen. Let's go ahead and give that to him. And for your Victor's Blessing. Um, yeah, that's what it gives me. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so we've gotten that taken care of. And yeah, the gold areas, all those doors, they deserve their own episodes. So we're going to be going through those next time. And let's play Ease Memories of Celsetta. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.